Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. The Weather Extreme video, this is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, December 20th. I'm James Spann. After some big rains this morning, things have calmed down somewhat this afternoon. Cold air for Christmas. And at the end of next week, could there be a little, a little winter mischief? Well, let's go in there and check things out today. There's the water vapor satellite view. The little wave that brought the big rains this morning moving on to the east. We had some partial clearing in the wake of the morning rain, and uh, as the air destabilized, more showers formed. That was a radar at 2.30, heavy showers south and east of Birmingham. Also some showers back in northwest Alabama. Those will gradually die down later this evening as the sun goes down. And a very mild December day. Look at Tuscaloosa, 74. Birmingham at 70, mid-60s for Anniston and Gadsden. We ought to be in the mid-50s this time of the year. Uh, a clear boundary between Birmingham and Nashville. Nashville's at 52, <clears throat> that warm front near the Alabama-Tennessee border. And we stay in mild air here through Friday. But again, by Sunday and Monday, the weather turns sharply colder, just in time for Christmas. Travelers, there's your watch warning map. Most of the issues out west and up north. Winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories for many of the states there. But the east is fairly quiet. Uh, a little marginal risk over central Georgia. That's all that's left for the severe weather outlook for uh, today and tonight. Tomorrow, a chance of some thunder west of the state. Day three, Friday, maybe some thunder for northwest Alabama Friday night, but uh, no severe weather expected. That's with the activity in advance of the Arctic front. This is the rain for the next seven days or precipitation across the continental United States. And you can see the bigger numbers down here across the mid-south. Really, the heavier totals over parts of Arkansas and western and middle Tennessee. But Alabama, rain amounts one to two inches for the north, about one half inch for the south. And again, the next rain will be in here Friday night and Saturday in advance of the Arctic front. So let's check it out. Model fans, here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run ballot tomorrow at noon. New trough back in the southwest United States. And down below that, we are in between waves. So uh, we'll forecast a partly sunny day with a high in the 60s, mostly mid to upper 60s, about 10 to 15 degrees above average. This is Friday. I think the day Friday will be dry. Clouds will increase. We'll be in the 60s. The rain will likely begin Friday night. And then Saturday just looks wet. Uh, we'll expect rain a decent part of the day. Temperatures will be in the 60s. Initially, we thought we might drop in the 50s, but it looks like the uh, models are a little slower here. So uh, rain likely, temperatures in the 60s on Saturday. And again, I don't think we have much thunder and there's no chance of any severe weather. Sunday, we clear up. The sky becomes partly to mostly sunny. We turn colder with a high in the 40s. And Christmas Day, cold and dry. Got a 1033 millibar high right on top of us. We start the day in the 20s. High Monday should be in the mid 40s. Numbers coming off the GFS at midday Christmas Day. You see a lot of 43s on the board. So we go about 10 degrees below average. But the sky should be bright and sunny. This is Tuesday, same thing, cold and dry. Start the day in the 20s, the high in the upper 40s. And a week from today, Wednesday the 27th, uh, troughing north and west of the state. Moisture begins to increase to the west. And if this verifies, uh, and again, a lot of people travel next week, uh, Wednesday would be a very snowy day for Des Moines, Chicago, and Indianapolis, and maybe some icing problems for Kansas City and St. Louis. Let's go to Thursday. The GFS much, much faster with this. It brings in rain Thursday of next week with a little batch of wintry issues on the north side of that. And then on uh, Friday of next week, the 29th, uh, strong north wind. We turn much colder as the next surge of cold air drops in here. Let's check the European uh, at the end of next week. Again, this is Friday night, the 29th, and it's much, much slower than the GFS. And obviously, we got these inconsistencies, which you expect at this range, but uh, uh, it shows kind of the same thing. Uh, rain for the state with maybe some snow or ice issues on the northern flank of that. And there is no way to be specific, but just be aware the door seems to be open for just maybe a tad of winter mischief toward the end of next week or maybe uh, New Year's weekend. 
Uh, this is the uh, snow output coming off the European. And remember, it's got 51 members. This is the ensemble output, so 51 members. And uh, by golly, uh, I'd say about half of them, if not a smidgen more, have some risk of a little snow toward the end of next week. This is the GFS ensemble. It's got 21 members. And again, uh, a little more than half of them show a little bit of snow here. And maybe not much in most cases, but some. So just something to watch. It's way too early to know. Check the numbers. You can see the cool down for Christmas Day. Uh, the European showing a high of 44 for Monday. And the second surge of cold air comes in toward the end of next week and uh, New Year's weekend. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.